Southwest Florida is home to a lot of fun, cute, and interesting animals. It is, and a great place to learn about them is the Peace River Wildlife Center. That is where you will also find Executive Director Robin Jenkins. Good morning. Good morning Welcome Harvey. back. Thank you. One of these little guys almost escaped. <laughs> we got him in just in time for the commercial break. Tell us who you brought, Robin. These are uh, flying squirrels, southern flying squirrels. They are native to this area. You just don't see them very often because they're nocturnal. Only ah. out at night, and they're tiny. I mean, these guys are almost full grown, and they are just tiny little things. Tell us the story behind uh, the rescue with these two. Well, their nest was cut down out of a palm tree when the tree was removed, and uh, it's a little dicey to leave these guys out. With, with the gray squirrels, they're out during the day, so you leave them alone. Mom will come back, get the babies, and re-nest them. These guys are nocturnal, so leaving them out overnight is kind of a leap of faith. Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> flying no. squirrel humor there. Um, but, uh, so. it took me a minute, but I got it. I eventually got it. <laughs> Talk about how they actually, they don't actually fly, right? Right, they, they don't fly. They have a uh, potassium, which is a piece of skin between their front and back legs that they spread out when they leap off of a tree and they glide. And then they use their flat tail as a rudder to, um, you know, and they can glide for a pretty long distance, so long that's why people, distance. I think, um, well, and that's why they're called flying squirrels, because right. it does look like they're flying. Absolutely. No. Yeah. And they're very active, and, and you know, they're, they're tiny little prey animals, so they're, they're very skittish, and, and, you know, they don't, they're not, you don't see them in the wild very And often. these guys will be able to be released back into the wild, because I know you're yes, hand-feeding them now, and right. the goal is always to get them back in the wild if you can. Yes, absolutely, and these guys are almost ready to go. That's why they're, they're not holding still for me today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not very good camera, but um, but yeah, they are well, horrible. Well, I know Michelle is just learning about you, uh, you guys, for the first time this morning. So, how do you tell yeah. people like Michelle and maybe others who haven't been out to the center yet uh, mm -hmm. what it is that you guys are doing? Well, we are a wildlife rehabilitation facility. We take injured and orphaned wildlife and get them healthy and back out into the wild. That's our primary goal. Our secondary goal is to educate people. The ones that can't be released are on uh, educational displays at our facility. We're open seven days a week from 11 to 4. 365 days Even a year. on holidays. Holiday. We're approaching Even. the holiday season here yes. coming up, and you yeah. guys are, all of them, you're open. We get, yes, we get a lot of uh, visitors on holidays because, you know, you can only eat so much turkey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> walk After it off. you <laughs> unwrap those gifts, what else is there to do? What so. are some of the other animals that you have for educational purposes at the facility? Well, most of our permanent residents are birds that have been injured that can't be released back out into the wild. Um, but we do have um, a couple, we have a squirrel. With um, a little bit of brain damage, uh, we have some rabbits. We just don't have the room for mammal caging right now. Ooh, but... giving us a little hint. <laughs> Well, and one of the things that you guys are always looking for uh, certainly are donations, um, and I know volunteers. A great way to do this is by playing uh, a great round of golf, right? Absolutely. You have a great fundraiser coming We've up. We've got our fourth annual Eagle Open Golf Tournament coming up and on um, February 6th at Twin Isles Country Club in Punta Gorda. And uh, for anybody who wants information for that, give us a call at 941-637-3830 or visit our website at peaceriverwildlifecenter.org. All right, and then again, I know we have a lot of our snowbird friends coming uh, here just in the next couple of weeks. So, right. are you looking for volunteers still uh, this time need, of year? We always need volunteers. Yes, absolutely. And our volunteers do any number of things. I know. Do you have to have animal experience or not, vet, you know veterinarian experience? <laughs> not squirrel at experience. All. Yeah, I know. Right, yeah. Uh, no, not at all. Okay. I mean, our volunteers do everything from helping in the office, the gift shop, tour guides. Um, you know, they sew for us, they cook for us. Not us, the animals. But <laughs> <laughs> well, Unless you're yeah, really interested in that, I can, you know, <laughs> find a place for you. <laughs> you need some new clothes, yeah. obviously. <laughs> All right. Well, Robin, thank you so much for being here this morning. And again, how long do you think it'll be before these guys get released these guys again? are ready to go probably in a couple weeks. Okay, a couple weeks still. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for being here this you. morning. Thanks for bringing these guys yeah. along. It was fun.